Yes, we have a very special video for you guys today. We have a Mini Cooper S convertible. Now, these are very special in many different ways. Firstly, because my first car was a Mini, so I know a lot about these. And because the heritage these cars have, I mean, these go back to 1959 when the first Mini was produced. And what a car they was. They were, they were made for the city where people could drive around. And I mean, from experience of owning one of these, these are like little go-karts and you'll find out later on why they are. So one of the main reasons why these cars are just phenomenal is because back in, back in the 50s and the 60s when these cars come out, these were like, this was a luxury for some, for, some, for some people to have and going from one extreme to another, these cars were World Rally Champions in Monte Carlo in, in 65, 64 and 67. So these cars are absolutely great. I mean, for such a small little car, you actually do get a reasonable amount of space. I mean, we had Adam, who's currently filming, in the back with, our, with the boss in front, and he had loads of room. And I mean, over the years, they have changed, but they've still kept that iconic look. And I mean, if I come round to the front, a little cool feature I found out about these is either side, they've got these little intake ducts, which obviously takes air in, which cools the engine and helps with the turbo. Obviously, being a Cooper S, you've got this little air vent on the front here as well which gives it more aggressive look and obviously helps out with performance it's got these lovely cosmo alloy wheels which for me i think they really do set this car to what it should be because they're 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 not too big but they're not too small and they've handling wise phenomenal so since the year 2000 bmw actually took ownership of the mini brand and Back in the day, when these were owned by BMW, uh, to start off with, the demand for these cars were crazy. People were paying more money for a second-hand Mini because the production speed of these were taking too long for the customers and they just wanted a Mini that bad. And it just goes to show you how well built and how like iconic these cars really are to some people. And like I said, for me, being a first car, I've had so much fun in one of these cars and we're going to get into the spec and we're going to get into the way the car drives very, very shortly. It really is amazing how far these Minis have come. I mean, going back to the original Mini, all they had was a, the Speedo and a steering wheel. I mean, the, these Minis are loaded with specs. So this is finished in the midnight black metallic paint, which really does look amazing on this car. Like I mentioned earlier, it's got these 18 inch LA Cosmo spoke alloy wheels, which set the car off perfectly. It's got the exterior color uh, side mirrors, which are heated and electrically adjustable. And if we come on inside, I'm going to tell you more about the spec. Going back to what I previously spoke about, these cars have so much spec. They've actually got that much spec. I'm going to have to sit down and actually read out what it's got so that you guys get a better insight. So in interior wise, this has performance control, multifunctional sports leather steering wheel, which is beautiful. It's got sports seats. It's got cruise control with brake function as well. It's got adaptive suspension. These seats are also heated. It's got rear park distance control, tired pressure display. The, these seats are finished in piano black leather, which suit this car perfectly. It's got the mini drive modes, which are here. You can put it into economy. You can put it into normal. You can put it into sport. You've got mini excitement package and velour floor mats and obviously heat adjustable driver and passenger seats. Um, also as well with the minis, if you are familiar with the minis, you can get a pepper pack and a chili pack. This one actually comes with the chili pack, I believe. And with that, you get a whole range of extras, which some of them listed on here and some that we'll have to link and uh, put in the description. But um, yeah, let's jump out and we'll go for a spin. Yes, we're inside the Mini Cooper S and to be honest, I've never been more excited to drive a car like this because obviously my first car was only a Mini 1, 1.4, nothing crazy, but it was such a laugh. But being in one of these, being a Cooper S, it's got the power. They've, kept, they've still kept the interior very similar to the older ones, but they've just updated it. I mean, you've got DAB radio, you've got Bluetooth, you've got dual climate control. It's got so much. I mean. It's got the storage compartment here with an armrest. And just so you guys know, a little insight into the history, this was actually an ex-demonstrator's car, so it is loaded with spec, hence why I've had to sit there and go through everything with you guys. But 
what a car this is. It's so, it's small, but you've got enough space in it to fit four people. And it's like being in the go-kart. I mean, especially with this being the convertible version. I mean, wait until you guys hear it, but you've all these different modes you've got, it really does make this car complete. So, this Cooper S has a four-cylinder turbocharged engine, which produces 189 brake horsepower, 300 newton meters of torque, has a top speed of 143 miles an hour, and reaches 60 miles an hour in 7.2 seconds. Now, this car also only weighs 1,350 kg, which is literally nothing. And, I mean, miles per gallon, if you're averaging, you probably average around 47 miles per gallon, and that's just in eco mode, just driving around normally. And then you put your foot down in it, and your miles per gallon is still pretty decent. So, you get an all round, really good package. So, I'm going to demonstrate to you what it's like to drive. So, if I put it into green, I'm in green mode, low consumption mode. You put your foot down, it's still powerful, but you're trying to save fuel and you're driving along. You can put it into mid mode, where it's your typical mini driving fun, so that it's a bit more quicker now on the accelerator. Perfect. But then you put it into sport mode. You put it into sport mode, right? And you drop a gear, maybe into third, give it, the exhaust opens up and it makes these little pops and bangs, but it's just the right amount for a car like this. It's not one of them silly ones that flame and all that, none of that. It's perfect because it really does give you that Cooper, but to the Cooper S feel because you've got the exhaust making them pops and bangs. You can actually hear the turbo whistle away in the front, but it's not too much, which is just perfect for a little mini Cooper S. <laughs> put it into sport it just becomes a whole different car like it's perfect because that is the best way to describe this car is like driving a go-kart wow I don't know if you guys can hear it but it just makes these little pops and bangs and I mean we've reviewed a lot of cars but this car has made me so happy to drive it because it's got a lot of meaning to me but also being a Cooper S, it's just what you want. Like, you could even go up to John Cooper Works, which are even like more extreme. But this, it, it's just perfect. It is literally perfect. We're all on B roads right now. We're driving around, and you just couldn't, you couldn't be in a better car. It, it handles so well. It's small. It's agile. It's planted to the road, and it looks, it just looks the part as well. The fact that they've kept it the same design throughout all these years but just made it better and better and better is one reason why I absolutely love the Mini Coopers. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I had so much fun creating this for you guys. Um, if you are really interested in this car, then head over to our website at invictusmotors.co.uk where you'll be able to find this car and many others. Um, please subscribe to the channel so you can watch more of our videos, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we drop more videos and hit that thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one.